औकात समझ में आ गए अभी भाई मेरे को प्लीज माफ कर दे मैंने गलती कर दी माफी गलतियों की दी जाती है छुट्टियाँ पे क्लीन नहीं क्लासिफाइड इन्फो एट और सेवन का लीक करने का मतलब ये तो गलती नहीं हो सकती ना भाई जो मैंने किया था मुझे नहीं करना चाहिए था प्रिया का कैंसर के सर्जरी का पैसा चाहिए था उन्होंने बहुत पैसा दिया तो मेरे पास भी आ सकता था क्या भाई भाई मैं मैं डर गया था डर किस बात की डर हमारे छोकरे लोग गए पैसा गया उन्होंने मेरी पूरी परिवार को उड़ा दिया मेरी माँ मेरा बाप मेरी बहन उड़ा दिया उन्होंने सीएमई वालों ने उनको खत्म कर दिया मेरी माँ को उन्होंने सात बार इधर सर के बीच को नहीं मारी तेरे तेरे इस डर के वजह से भाई मेरे को सच्ची में कोई आइडिया नहीं था कि ये करेंगे सो so, तुझे नहीं मालूम था तो मेरे माँ बाप मैंने मेरे माँ बाप को भी मालूम था मेरी बहन को मालूम था कि वो लोग मरने वाले थे वो दिन हाँ नहीं 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 तू मेरा बात सुन तू मेरा बात सुन तेरी औकात क्या है तो मैं तुझे आज तेरी औकात सिखाता हूँ तू गद्दार है यानी कि कुत्ता तेरे से ज़्यादा वफादार है ठीक है एक कुत्ता तेरे से ज़्यादा वफादार रहेगा यानी तेरा औकात हुआ कुत्ते से कम अब औकात इतनी कम है तो कैसा मरेगा तू कैसा मरेगा ये थोड़ी मरने का बात है नहीं देख 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 मैं तुझे अब मैं तुझे बताता हूँ तेरा गला काटूंगा मैं पहले तेरा गला काट के गला काट के रिया के घर जाऊंगा नहीं रिया के घर जाऊंगा उसके सर में गोली मारूंगा फिर तेरे माँ बाप को भी मार दूंगा सब कुछ जला दूंगा घर गाड़ी पैसा जितना भी लिए मैं ले लूंगा नहीं नहीं सुन सुन तू ऐसा मौत मरेगा करनी मरने के बाद भी तो ए तो बचेगा नहीं तू मरेगा आज शुरू उन्होंने किया था खत्म हम करेंगे निले का अगर मैं ऐसा हालत कर सकता हूं तो सोच ले सीएमई का मैं क्या क्या कर नहीं सकता आज रात आज रात उनके घर में घुस के मारेंगे प्लान क्या है क्या करना है उनका वेपन्स फैक्ट्री आज रात हम दोनों सिर्फ हम दोनों बिना मरे कैसे करेंगे हमारे छोकरे लोग हैं लक्सम लोग के अलग अलग लोकेशन में गाड़ी में वेपन्स बॉक्स है हम लोग काफ़ी रहेंगे लेकिन आज रात ये ख़त्म करना आज रात उन्होंने हमको जो भी किया जो भी किया उन्होंने सालों के गले में ऐसा ही शान वो मेरा संदेश है ये संदेश पूरे लक्सम लोग Hey dad, how you doing? Yeah, just wanted to hear your voice. I don't know how many times I'll get to do this. No, no, no. I, I'm staying positive. 
I'm doing my best to try and get you some money, but, you know, don't have much time, but I'm trying my best. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, I know this isn't the right path, but I have no other way. I want to get out of it just as much as you want me to. Yeah. Alright. I gotta go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hit the sack, so... Yeah, I'll be off. Love you, Dad. Yeah. Love you a lot. Secure? Secure. We've got a situation. There's a huge red flag that just popped up. They're Trojan registered 807 vehicles converging towards something. And the system is showing me that there are several CME vehicles going towards the 807 vehicles. I think they're going to go at each other tonight. Are you sure? Did you refresh? Did you do a safe wipe? I did refresh and I'm not running the anti-glitch. It takes seven minutes and I don't think we have that time. We cannot let this happen at all. Otherwise, it'll be an underworld massacre. There are far more CME troops on ground than 807. They're gonna rip their heads off. Okay. What about that uh, new uh, emerging gang, uh, Sengad? You see any activity from their side? No, just CME and 807. Oh yeah, you're right, we can't have these guys at war. You got a plan? I brought this up with the head office and they're calling it an active crisis waiting to happen. So how about, I'll try and talk with the CME. You talk to the 807 forces, get through the leader, wish one of on Kumar. He's also in the carcade. I'll assign the rest to other Trojan handlers. Follow the protocol and get them to a safe location while I try to back the CME off. Okay, that's good, but how much time do we have? Seven to ten minutes before they encounter each other. Get the reason why they did this. It's more than likely cultural because 807 is an Indian-led gang and CME is Luxembourgish, but we aren't entirely sure. Okay, okay, I will. Contact me as soon as you get information on CME status. Okay. I'll do the same for 807. Get to pen 7. Immediately. That's an instruction. Oh, come on. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up the phone. Who is this? There's a hill above the boat. What can be seen on top of it? There's a hill above the boats, what can be seen on top of it. A world finest dust and dark of shadows. Okay, Mr. Kamal, uh, the Trojan systems have detected an immediate threat towards you and your gang members. I'm going to need you to cooperate with me with this as I get you to one of Trojan safe zones, okay? You're very close to one right now, and there are ten Trojan troops waiting for you, armed and ready for your protection. Okay? May I know exactly what the threat is? No, not now, sir, please. You have to listen. Well, I'm not going to cooperate if I don't know what the threat I'm facing is. Sir, I cannot disclose that information. If you want what's best for you, do as I say now. Look, right now, in 10 minutes, I'm going to be facing the biggest threat I have in my life, so I'd rather face that than have some no life a Trojan tell me what threat I'm going to face, okay? You're on Rue Erasmus with your left-hand man, VJ. You're headed to the CME Weapons Factory. That, sir, is an ongoing violation of the pact that you have with Trojan preventing gang on gang wars. Even if you come back alive after destroying CME, we'll have you killed for consciously violating the pact. And please, don't doubt our abilities, because we know that much about you. It's a very, very easy kill. You fight the CME, you're killed fighting them, or you're killed by us. So now the only option left for you is to cooperate with me. Is that clear? 
Ah! Understood. We'll stand down. Have the, have the other troops been notified of this threat as well? Or are you going to tell them to stand down, or should I, should I pass the order? Okay, you have a right coming up at 500 meters. Make that right and continue straight for two kilometers. And yes, other Trojan crisis handlers are dealing with this as we speak. You are obliged to pass on orders to stand down. I will. Give me two minutes. Don't cut the call. Don't cut the... Trojan ko pata chal gaya ki hum log CMA ki taraf badh rahe hain. Wo log humko dhamka rahe hain ki agar hum log unko attack kare to wo log humko maar denge agar hum log udhar se bach ke nikle. Kyunki pact ke khilaf jata hai. Kya karna hai? Unhe lagta hai Trojan bluff kar rahe hain. Wo jaanti hi hai hum log kya kar rahe hain, kahan hain, kaun hain. Hum unke sab panga nahi le sakte. Mujhe hum log kuch nahi kar payenge iske liye alag वक्त है उसने जो मैं जिस पे साथ जिसके साथ पे फ़ोन पे था वो बोला है कि वो ट्रोजन सेफ जोन तक गाइड करेगा तो उसने बोला आगे से आगे से एक लेफ्ट लेने का है और सीधा बढ़ते रहने का है दो किलोमीटर के लिए इससे बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी तो नहीं मिलेगी दिस इज़ द बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी अगर सी वालों को कोशिश किया हम लोग ने मारने के लिए तो हम लोग शायद से मरेंगे और अगर हम सी वालों को मार के बच के निकल गए तो ट्रोजन हमें मार देगा ये हम लोग दोनों केस में मारेंगे इसका कोई फायदा नहीं इसके लिए अलग वक्त रहे सी वालों को हम लोग और एक दिन और एक दिन मारेंगे उसका भी टाइम आएगा उसका भी टाइम आएगा आई टोल्ड यू टू द कॉल You know, if you don't oblige to my instructions, I can have you hunted down, sir. I was telling my boys to stand down. We took a right. I remember. Understood. Five hundred meters before I turn, I'll let you know. All right. Don't hang the call up again. Okay. Well, I still expect to know what the threat is, especially if we're cooperating with you right now. So, may I know the exact reason for your why you and heavily armed NATO servitors were headed to the CME weapons factory to go on the offensive and start a war? Oh well, they invited us over for a tea party with guns. What do you think? You wanted to know the threat. There are multiple CME troop vehicles headed your way. Now we need to know if something happened from your side, which could have, you know, incited this. Those little shits! Oh my god. Those little shit. I didn't start it. They did. Well, you were about to make things a hundred times worse. Trojan laws prevent any kind of explicit enmity between gangs all over. Period. Well, you didn't catch the CME shits killing my family, destroying our sites all over Luxembourg, now, did you? Well, well, um, what the CME did uh, was not red flagged or recognized by uh, by the system, so wasn't brought to our attention. Well, that's convenient. What's your name? I can't disclose that. Well, I'll call you Matt. Simple and common as shit, right? What is Trojan even, Matt? I mean, I was promised assistance in consignment deliveries, not death threats being waved at my face. So this is Trojan's clause. This is a distress situation. We like to keep our network clean, okay? So whoever's with us agrees not to start any intercity gang wars, and if they do, they are immediately executed, okay? I don't think you read the agreement properly at all. Well, I'm more of a reckless guy, and if you're handling eight or seven, someone must be calling down CME too. Someone's on that uh, right. Oh shit! Mister, turn left. Turn left now. Turn left right now. Okay. Turn left. You don't. You don't. <sighs> you should enter a parking lot where there should be trucks and troops waiting for you. Okay. Should be ten or so. As soon as you confirm you've met them, I'll cut the call. There are more trojan troops on the way. Mm, 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 mm. All right, I 
I'm I'm sorted on eight or seven. You're good on CME. This is really confusing, Maddie. There are no CME troops on the road at all. There were none in the first place. That's what they told me, and I have it confirmed by on-ground Trojan troops. What are you doing in a field? You're him. That's impossible. Our system must have glitched. I didn't run a safe wipe. That shit takes seven minutes just to recalibrate the system and rid of the glitches. The thing I fear the most is that the system got hacked. Hacked. Shit. Maddie, what happened? Oh, no, 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 no. This whole thing was a setup. Shut the system down right now. Come on, come on, pick up, pick up the damn phone! Hello? Get the hell out of there now! Vijay, 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 you son of a bitch, I swear to God I'm gonna kill you, I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. Shut up and get out of the car now. You son of a bitch. Get on your knees. I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. So I'm not Trojan, obviously. So have a guess at who I am. Sons of bitches? Adam Holder sent a joke for you. Sengad. That's right, that's us. Mr. Davis, you must know why we've called you in here today. Absolutely, ma'am. What's happened in the last week? It's never happened to children before. Not in my time, not in anyone's time here. We would expect better from someone with such experience. Violence obviously doubled, and police are having extreme difficulties handling the 807 and CME gang war. Let me start by asking you if you know the exact jurisdiction of Trojan listed on the protocol. Well, no ma'am. I don't know the exact pact. Any gang who takes up the service Trojan primarily offers, which is that of assistance in any illegal activity done on a national scale, becomes a member of Trojan. All members are obliged to maintain a formal conduct within themselves, without any gang violence despite rivalry. Should this happen, the gang will be obliged to pay a fine of 1 million euros, or if this continues despite free warnings, the leader will be killed. Do you understand the implications of this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now that we have a mutual understanding of what exactly the protocol is, explain to me what actually happened from your point of view. Well, Yuri came to me and told me that something was up and that we didn't have much time. And we had to hurry, so... I mean, I never knew the system could be manipulated in the way it was, so I never, it was never on my mind that anything was amiss. And then, only when we found out it was too late, and they were already dead. I still don't know how to feel. After the events of the previous days, all across Luxembourg, did it never once stumble upon your mind that Sengad could have had a role to play? Well, when you feel guilty about the death of someone you were trying to help, when you feel betrayed and bewildered, 
It doesn't preoccupy your mind, let me tell you that. Not one bit. Even so, I told Yuri to run a cross-check to see if Senga was involved, and they weren't. Surely, one simple reflection one night would have led you to the conclusion that... Well, did you think about it? Did you think to pass on any information? Or would you rather have someone you could put the blame on? How did our system get manipulated? Are we just that weak? Are we? Because there sure as hell was no leak. And you know, Sengad aren't even affiliated with us. They're not affiliated with Trojan. So what are we going to do to them? There's nothing we can do. You want to talk about jurisdiction? Listen, I did everything as I have been taught to do. Well, did you? You didn't run the safe wipe, clearly. Standard protocol, Mr. Davis. No, 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 no. It takes too much time to complete. No way. And there was no time. No time at all. Nothing. Shows how much you know about your company, doesn't it? Plus, it only takes care of glitches. And so if we'd run it, we'd have two gangs at each other's throats. While we're sat here running a shitty, stupid safety scam. Mr. Davis, you didn't stick by the rules, and that's the point here. Well, what if it was real? Which it is 99 times out of 100. This is the first time I've ever had something like, happen, like this happen to me. You think that CME would have just given 807 a, a timeout? A seven minute timeout for them to get ready? For us to get ready? But the threat wasn't real. Get back into reality. You knew what you signed up for. You stick to the protocol. Tell me where on my contract that it says, that it states clearly, that I have to kill people. And that I have to hide my gun, my victims, and my fingerprints in a field in the middle of nowhere never to be found or traced by anyone ever again. Just because you couldn't upgrade your system. Mr. Davis, watch it. No, 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 for once, you're gonna listen to one of us. You are people who never come into the office to check what work is going on. You don't give a shit about the people who run your errands for you. Do you know what it's like to work in this place? Child trafficking. Protecting a two-ton drug consumption to be distributed amongst the youth. But we have a protocol that defends against gang wars happening. That's our contribution to society. Is that enough of a protocol for you? Mr. Davis, I have your contract right here. You needed the money. You wanted the job, so we can do just fine without you here. You want our best anyways. Oh, and don't go complaining about your new gained wisdom bullshit. You know what? This one week has helped me realize what I'm helping. Who I'm helping. What I've become. I quit this job. I quit this fucking dark world. And the world will continue the exact same way it did. As per protocol, if we do find you leaking any information about your time here, we will have to find you... Let me tell you something. The last thing that I would do is associate myself with this job in any way. Even... I wouldn't even open my mouth if Vishwanathan's ghost came knocking on my door. That's my final promise to follow protocol. Thanks again for having me over. Wonderful view. Do you still play football around there? Yeah. Yeah, there's a pitch around the corner. You still do your little nutmegs with the kids? Maybe. And the old man? Yeah. You couldn't spare him then, can spare the kids now. <laughs> You're gonna need to find another way to satisfy your ego. Yeah. Yeah, somehow I do. 
So, uh, how, how is your dad? He passed away. I'm really sorry, Maddie. I, I didn't even... How are you dealing with it? If there's anything I can do to help, please tell me. You want to know something? My dad told me before he died that the proudest and happiest he felt was when I told him that I quit Trojan. I quit that world. Those words, that's my fuel. That's my search for something normal. You found that life yet? I'm trying. I really, really do. I miss him. I miss Dad, Yuri. Why didn't you come to me earlier? My past. Your present. Maddie, you know Trojan has nothing to do with the friendship that we share. I know it doesn't, Yuri, but it has everything to do with my liability. Trojan handlers have a life outside of the underworld too, you know. I didn't. Maddie, not everyone who works as Trojan is a villain or a drone. People move on. People learn to adapt. I know, it's just... I curse myself for having chosen this path for a cause which didn't even make my dad happy. With all the pain and suffering he underwent. I just wish I could have made him happier. You did, Maddie. You did the right thing by leaving. So, why don't you leave? You know, you don't have a real incentive to earn money, but with all the violence that's been going on for the past week, weeks even, don't you feel a bit guilty for what you shared a hand in? I moved on. I adapted. I know my life could be in danger right this instant, but know this, that people can live with their conscience after doing things like this. Your perspective will change now that you're back in a normal world. You know why I don't want a normal life? Because the real world is just as cruel and just as merciless as Trojan. Well, out here you have a lot to live with. Peace, love, respect. You have a lot to live with in here too. Money, power, leverage. I respect your decision to leave Trojan. But know this, people have different priorities. If you feel like you're being drawn back into it, you think Trojan remembers you. No one remembers you. And Judith lets you off the hook because she doesn't care. The past is let go of you. You need to let go of the past. That last part was just a bit cheesy, wasn't it? Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the pizza frown from the oven. Please! I mean, I'm so hungry I was gonna eat you for dinner. Okay. <laughs>